From the subreddit Unpopular Opinion. Scalping is going to get worse and ruin how we buy goods. So many people defend scalping in demand items because s up li and dema nd or not i lla gal. But as we all have surly noticed, scalpers are now buying things like movie tickets, sporting events, snacks, children toys and so much more. If people continue to be stupid enough to buy these products at outrageous prices and regulations and procedures aren't put into place this will slowly become the norm and will completely change how we purchase the things we desire. I know someone who purchased hundreds of rolls of toilet paper at the beginning of COVID in order to resell them at exorbitant prices. It felt so good when she couldn't figure out how to scalp them and ended up stuck with hundreds of rolls of toilet paper in her small apartment. Scalping with groceries is just dumb. I refuse to buy a PS5 until I can get it for retail price. If that means waiting two to three years then I do not care. I will never purchase from a scalper. I wanted to go see the new Spider-Man movie and apparently several scalpers have bought entire movie theaters worth of tickets to sell for double cost and people are buying them. I think the worst outcome from this is that the retailers will see people buying upmarked products and increase their prices for profits increasing product prices even further. In the coming times I believe we'll see these products rise in price, graphics cards, movie tickets, concert tickets, etc. because it kills competition between manufacturers. Fuck scalpers. I don't think this is unpopular, though. People have been complaining about this exact thing for decades. Scalpers are now buying tickets for sporting events? What fucking rock have you been living under, op? How about sporting events? I haven't been able to go to a football game because the cost for the worst seats is absurdly high. Why is it okay for a company to buy up tickets and sell them at a higher price but if I want to, that's illegal? Except this is a PSA not an unpopular opinion. Everything highly affected by the chip shortage is just screwed price-wise for now. Just gotta wait it out for the next few years until manufacturing can catch up. Greater than scalpers are now buying things like movie tickets, sporting events, snacks, Children toys aren't these literally the things they've always been known for selling? No refunds on movie tickets where I live. If they aren't selling out then they will learn pretty quickly. China was a scalping paradise until they implemented a policy that requires all buyers to be real name registered. This means that you can only buy a set amount of X items per person. This applies to everything from train tickets to movie tickets to video game account registration. Of course, this heavily infringes on citizens' privacy but other than this, I don't see any other realistic way in terms of laws and regulations to prevent scalping. Not paying scalped prices cures scalpers. I just had a look at the NVIDIA GPUs over a year later have easily doubled. And that's from suppliers once again the only people losing out are the genuine people who just want something nice. I hate scalpers with passion. They add nothing, and only take. It's really gross and should be illegal. Technically scalping is illegal. What will get them is selling on platforms like eBay and such who will report the transactions for taxation. In the end they function just like a store. The solution is for people to stop being dumb and just not pay more for crap from scalpers. For instance my Nintendo Switch. Scalpers were going after them last year. I just lived without it until one appeared on a shelf at Walmart. Then I bought it. So I did not pay the outrageous price. If you can live without it, like most things in the world, just don't pay the high price. I read the first few words and was intrigued at the prospect of scalping Indians returning. I was subsequently very disappointed. It really frustrated me when people say respect the hustle you want to know what. I really don't respect the hustle. Not one bit. Not this one, at very least. Fuck scalpers. Occasionally when I'm bored I'll find a scalper selling an Xbox or PS5 on Facebook yard sale and then act super interested tell them I'll pay full asking price, have them set to meet me about half an hour from where they live, nothing too suspicious. Tell them I'm on the way until they tell me they're at the spot and then string them along until they figure out I'm not showing up. Really upsets them and makes me happy they wasted their time and money, win-win. Fuck them. Yeah, they should outlaw that shit. If people are stupid enough to buy stupid things for a price they do not worth, they deserve it. Dwight Schrute was supposed to be a TV character not a way of life. This is an unpopular opinion mate. I refused to buy an RTX 3080 and I got money. Just ain't doing it. Wow very unpopular opinion. To all, stop buying from scalpers. 
I don't care if you're 50 and your son wants a new RTX and you don't understand computers and think $2,000 is a fair price. Only way to beat scalpers is to stop buying from them. To all the scalpers, go fuck yourself. Now imagine if companies would start doing this with other things like houses. Scalping is horrible but we as the consumers need to stop giving in to them. As long as there are idiots willing to buy at double the price then scalping will continue to exist. The problem are the people buying stuff for 500% of the original price, not the scalper, they just found a market of idiots and have the option to use it. Just don't buy the shit and they are fucked with all the stuff they don't need and no money left. As a rare vinyl collector who already has seen and went through this process on Discogs.com, listen to this warning. It's so annoying to be handcuffed because you know you want an item but the only place to get it has marked it up four times its original value. People are stupid and will continue to pay more for stuff than it should be worth. It's the same problem with cars. Cars and trucks are more expensive than ever in the history of vehicles, and yet they are selling super fast. Gone are the days of getting a discount or making deals, now the only way you can save money is to buy the vehicle before the price rises. It's up to the merchant websites to create systems that prevent scalpers from being able to do what they do. Like maybe not allowing the same address to be shipped to 10 times in 20 minutes. It already has. I still can't buy a PS5. It's been out a whole year. Something I don't see anyone talking about is that these scalpers don't do anything productive for society by scalping goods, they are just leeching off society. Think of how much better off we would all be if instead of making a living scalping, they put their time and effort into something that benefits society. Obviously I recognize this is idealistic and wages are too low, and supply and demand, but just as food for thought if scalpers were producing things instead of leeching, we would all be better off. Also, the prices of deliveries. Also fuck the people who buy stuff from the scalpers. The government steps in when scalping reaches necessity goods, and they refer to it as price gouging. And rightly so. But it's hard for me to shed a tear for people being priced out of limited supply luxury goods. I hate scalpers. I can't believe this is an unpopular opinion tbh. I hate seeing scalpers on eBay. PS5 in H and Pokemon say la BR Adion's ETB in H and like is it? Is it in your hand, you scalping fuck? Sure as shit isn't in mine for a fair price. Scalping isn't getting worse, people are. People are eating consumerism up, there's a serious lack of fundamentals being taught around understanding monetary value and politics continues to shift towards entitlement. People who buy off scalpers are just as bad emo. There would be no market for it if you could wait another few months for the PS5. If no one buys from the scalper then the scalper loses money. So do not buy from the scalper. The supreme hype brought scalping to fruition. Teenagers saw people buying a $30 t-shirt and selling in for hundreds if not thousands of dollars, and they decided to apply that to everything else. I actually read somewhere that they're trying to pass a bill to prevent bots from buying things up. If people continue to be stupid enough to buy these products at outrageous prices and regulations and procedures aren't put into place this will slowly become the norm and hashtag X200B, what will inevitably happen is that the prices will go to a price that nobody will those prices and the scalpers are going to sit on a bunch of stuff they can't seal. It's sure to become illegal eventually right? It's a newish thing do there's obviously no law that says you can't scalp but surely it will be illegal someday. I'ma scalp me some scalpers. What I don't get is why producers just sell at a higher price in these situations, better the money ends with them, than with scalpers, that contribute nothing of value. If the problem is, that this would seem off-putting, for example Sony could say the first console sold around $1000 will subsidize consoles sold later, for example at $300 instead of $500. I totally agree but scalping isn't a new thing by any stretch, it's just evolved onto internet shopping. I remember 10 years ago, Scalpers would buy out every major concert and flip them on Craigslist. Sometimes shows would be sold out but only have 60 people in attendance because the scalpers didn't manage to resell. It's more than scalpers, goods are in high demand and materials are at their lowest. It will take a long time to recover from this hell we may never come back from this. There is a reason, one of many, why plane tickets are tied to a name smile. No idea why so many people are defending scalping based off of people shouldn't be buying stuff they can't afford anyway. The victims aren't just people who end up paying more, they're mainly the people who can't afford or find them at all. Not everyone looking to offload goods is a terrible person. Remember when the NES came back out? Walmart had lineups. 
I was working so I couldn't get one and I found a guy who sold me a bnib because his mom had already gotten him one and he didn't need to. I was skeptical, but I played that thing many times and it was the real deal. He charged me exactly what he paid for it. I got to relive my Zelda glory days. Yes, I understand this wasn't as hot of a system as the 5, but whatever.